Hey everybody, welcome to Face the Music. Look, if you're not a subscriber, do me a favor, will you? Reach over, hit that subscribe button. Join our big family. Let's keep all this great music alive together while you're there. Set up notifications so whenever I drop a new episode, you'll be among the first to find out. Okay, so very excited about today's episode. I'll explain exactly what's going on with the episode in just a couple of minutes. So basically, you see that today's album of the day is um, Hall of Notes. Um, and so I, did, I mentioned them just because here coming up very shortly, I plan on doing some more Hall and Oats. I don't think I've actually featured Hall and Oats on this channel yet. I'm going to be doing Hall and Oats on this channel. Um, a great song from their Rock and Soul Part 1 album um, that doesn't get, I don't know if it even gets any airtime, but I think it's a great, fantastic song. And um, so I'm going to be featuring it on here. So anyways, wanted to put this up because it's as a reminder to me and you that we're going to be doing this very shortly. Um, but going into today's episode, so there was uh, an episode that I did recently. I think it was the Joe Diffie episode. And um, I mentioned in there that there was a song by a country singer. I believe it was in that episode. I think I mentioned that. There was a country singer by the name of Jason Aldean who had done a song called 1994. And it was basically a, um, it was like pay, paying homage to Joe Diffie who unfortunately passed away. Um, primarily because of, I think, uh, complications due to COVID uh, a couple of years ago. And um, and so I wanted to feature, you know, I may, I may possibly feature that song on here as well because it's a great song. If you know anything about Joe Diffie music and his songs and his song titles and album titles and so forth, you'll notice, you'll notice that um, in that song, if you've heard 1994, you'll notice that a lot of the references in there, um, you'll notice all those references really are about, uh, you know, song titles and album titles that Joe Diffie had back when he was still making music. However... This song uh, by Jason Aldean. Now, I know a lot of Jason Aldean's music. haven't really necessarily kept up with him super closely over the past few years. Um, but I noticed uh, in the last couple of days that there was a big story that came out, specifically about the song that I'm going to cover today called Try That in a Small Town. Um, not going to get into all the details about it. There's a lot of controversy. However, you can check it out online. Um, the, just, the bottom line of it is basically that I guess based on where this video is shot and also the content of it. A lot of people are trying to make it a political issue, make it about racism, make it about a lot of other things that um, absolutely it's not. Um, and so I hope that I'm going to be able to actually use the footage from the video in this episode. Um, if not, I hope I can at least use the audio. And if I can't get the video to, to take, if YouTube won't allow me to use it in my episode, then I'm going to go ahead and put the link to the video down below. So if you haven't seen the video, then you can actually see it at least after the fact. But I've heard the song. I agree with him 100%. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and check out the song, check out the episode or the video here in this episode. At the end, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit more about it. But um, no more talking. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is Jason Aldean and Try That in a Small Town. Carjacking old lady at a red light Pull a gun on the owner of a liquor store You think it's cool, act a fool if you like Cuss out a cop, spit in his face Stomp on the flag and light it up Yeah, you think it's tough Well, try that in a small town See how far you make it down I recommend you don't. It's a great line. Yep. Mm-hmm. Got a gun that my granddad gave me. They say one day they're going to round up. Well, that shit might fly in the city. Good luck. Try that in a small town. Mm-hmm. Brother! 
farmers are dropping their own crops for the day, a friend is in need and they've come to help. It's what this community and a lot of our communities stand for. Somebody needs some help, you'll get it. That's right. So that was Jason Aldean and Try That in a Small Town. So so that was some pretty heavy stuff, some pretty uh, accurate stuff, and some realistic stuff because it's all based on real life, obviously. So, um, and I'm gonna, what I'm going to say about the song and about the, uh, the footage that everyone was able to see, and, and hopefully you were able to see it, you know, hopefully I'm going to be able to get this. And if not, if I'm not able to actually, um, you know, I'm hoping that at least I'll be able to get the audio. If I can't get the audio, you know, I do want to get the video for sure. But if for some reason I'm not able to get this um, the way that I want it in terms of at least getting the video, uh, you know, then I'm going to put the um, the link to the video down below in the description box so you guys can go and check out the video if you haven't seen it. If you have seen it, you already know exactly what I'm talking about. So, you know, a lot of people are taking this song as, um, you know, a way to justify, you know, mass murder or is some kind of racist connotation to it. Now, I know a lot of the, the folks on this channel that watch this channel you're from other countries, okay? Um, but I can tell you my guess is that um, you may have similar things that go on in your country from time to time. And, you know, but speaking just for Strictly for America, all the footage that you saw there was definitely realistic. It's actually a thing that's been in the news for the last few years. Um, and, you know, I, I, you know, I get what he's saying because if you listen to country music at all, you know that there's always this good old boy mentality. And I don't mean that in a bad, uh, negative way. But I mean, that, you know, there's just like we take care of our own, you know. When you say someone's just a good old boy, it basically really just means that they are, um, you know, uh, you know, they're probably predominantly from the South. And they just are, you know, really what you would want in a gentleman and someone who's going to take care of their family, take care of their neighborhood, take care of their people, you know, um, that they live around. Um, you know, and, and, you know, you saw at the end where the farmer was talking about like how, you know, people just came together and that's what people do. Um, and I think that that speaks so true. I think it's, it's very, uh, actually very resoundingly true. And I wanted to include this song because when I saw this and I saw how much flack that, uh, Jason was getting off of this song, I'm like, you know, there's absolutely no way that he should be getting this much heat for this. He shouldn't be getting any heat for it, to be honest with you. Again, I think a lot of it has to do, or some of it at least has to do with the location. There was some bad things that happened at that particular location in the past. You can check it out for yourself. I'm not going to get into it here. But, you know, the point is that there was no, I guess that's the point. There was really no point. There was really no kind of indication on his part. This is really where we're trying to go with this. We're not trying to make it, he's not trying to make this a political statement. not trying to make it something that it's not. It's basically just saying that, you know, uh, and you could do the same thing in a big city. Unfortunately, especially at this point in our time, you know, people have they don't have a respect for the law. They don't have respect for the police. They don't have respect for authority. And it showed in that footage there. That's all realistic footage, obviously, as I said. As I said. And um, I think that, you know, the cultural, there's a cultural shift in our country at this point in time that's at, at this point negative, and we're trying to write it. And I know it's going to take a while. There's got to be a conversation, a dialogue on both sides on how this thing really gets fixed. But at the end of the day, I think the, the sentiment is there. The sentiment is that, um, you know, there should be respect for the law, respect for authority, respect for the police, respect for law and order, or you're just going to devolve into chaos. Okay, that's just common sense. I've seen it in other countries as well. I've seen issues, you know, all around the world and different things uh, over the past few years. And it's not good. Okay, but um, I think that this is definitely a song that I'm going to stand behind, that I'm going to recommend, that I'm going to say is a great song because it, it actually echoes the feelings that a lot of Americans have about what they see going on. And he's right. I mean, in a lot of small towns, especially, they band together. That's really what neighbors do in those small towns. I mean, I grew up in the South in a lot of my life, um, and I get that. I know exactly what he's talking about. But the same thing can happen in big cities. It's just a matter of people have to get together. They have to work together, and they have to band together in order to make sure that there's, lawful, there's a lawful society, there's order and not chaos, and there's not the problems that we see going on. Um, I'm going to recommend that song. Like I say, if you don't like that song, if you, if you have your own thoughts about it, you're welcome to have your own thoughts. It's my channel. I'm going to go ahead and say what I have to say, what I feel about it. If you're not a fan of that, I, then maybe this channel is not for you. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. I, I hope that you do understand. I hope that you do enjoy it um, and, and take it for what it's meant to be and not a, nothing else. Um, 
you know, I really, like I say, I, I haven't really followed Jason over the past few years, except for a couple songs here and there that I've heard. But I really am a fan of that. I'm going to back him up 110% on what he's doing here. I hope he doesn't back down. I hope he doesn't apologize for it. I'm not going to apologize for it. And um, I hope that things do get turned around, not only in America, but in a lot of other countries where similar situations are going on at this point in time as well. So anyways, that was a heavy episode, right? So just a lot of political-based uh, things in there, I understand. But this is called Face the Music, and so we're going to be tackling a lot of different music, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, the songs about love, it's about the military, it's about war, it's about, you know, the political situation in the country at this point in time. We're going to hit it. We're going to tackle it, right? Um, that's what it's about. So anyways... Well, if you're not a subscriber, like I said at the outset, go ahead and consider joining the channel. And also, check down below. I have a link there. You can see it, hashtag Face the Music Reactions. Or you can just simply go down to the playlist section. You can go through all my other videos. Um, and I'm sure that you'll find a lot of other great content in there that you'll enjoy as well. Come on back. We've got a lot of other great music coming up in store for you. I will see you next time. I hope to see you next time right here on Face the Music. Take care.